How you doing, my sister? I'm good. How are you? What's your name? I'm my name is Ashley. My name is Sam. Nice. Oh, do you know your insight like going to the Bible? I'm going to Right. What tribe are you from right here? I'm the place of Tribe of Judah. Tribe of Judah. Do you know who else is from the Tribe of Judah? Jesus the Christ. And what, what oh, nationality are you? What, what color do you think Christ is? Right. So how you know that? How you know that? He's not their coach. <laughs> right, right. Um, too much of the Bible is very much. Right. That's not the Bible. Right. And by knowing that, what required of you to do? You didn't know. Like you didn't know you were Israelite like, today, right? I've never heard it before, but I've never gone into the Bible. And you see this image right here? This is the image that they gave us. Yes. This image that we were raised up on. Yes, right here. That was real good. That was received, right? So called white man, for real. But by knowing that, by knowing that, that Jesus Christ is a black man, that you got his blood running through your veins, it's something that you want to do. But we must not know. We don't know who we are. According to the Bible, if we did know, that's what right. we got. We got to. We got to change this. We got to repent and keep the Most High God commandments. Yes. Keep the Most High God's commandments. Give me that right there. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter one and verse three. You know. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know. But Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. So on uh, the Bible is described the Israelites. As like a um ass in a um ass in a um cow cow. They know who they own and they know who they best crib is. But Israel, we don't know who we are. Right. This is why we're trying to learn who we are. Because we went through slavery. When we went through slavery, when we got off the slave ship, we could read or write. And they found us reading or writing, they would put us to death, sis. They would put us to death. Now, give me Deuteronomy chapter um, 10 and verse 12. I'm going to show you what required of you, knowing that you are um, an Israelite. What do the Most High God want you to do? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee, but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. So, number one, you must learn how to fear God. You must learn how to fear Him. Because when, once you fear Him, that's where you get your will. So, that's where you get your knowledge, your understanding from. Right. Now, let's get what the fear of God is. We got it in Psalms? Let's watch this. Let's read. Psalms chapter 119, verse 120. Yep. My flesh trembleth for fear of thee, and I am afraid of thy judgment. Guess what? Because the Most High God judgment. It's gonna be dumb. Right. If you find you in the midst of sin, you will be put to death. How you love him? You can't, you can't go to him, you can't call him, you can't give him a flowers or nothing like that. So how do you love God, sis? By doing his word and teaching other people to bring it to the Lord. Okay, doing this word, teaching other people, right? Okay, now we forget the Bible de definition. Watch this. Let's read that. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. So the love of God is to keep his commandments. Right. It's to keep the most high God commandments. That's what he gave the children of Israel. I know you see what's going on right in the world, right? All the capital, the, all the vaccines, all the COVID-19. Did you know that? That is for us. Because we broke our command, we say he's gonna send pestilence. Give me on Deuteronomy 28, the verse 6. This is the one. Watch this. That, that's, a, that's a curse. That's a curse to who? To plague us. God trying to get our attention. He said, if you break my commandments, I'm gonna put pestilence. I'm, I'm gonna put these enemies over you. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 61. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, uh -huh. then will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. He said he gonna keep on bringing these diseases, these pestilence upon, among us until we be destroyed. Right. Why? Because we broke his commandments. Right. Deuteronomy 2, 9 and 15. We broke his commandments since all these, um, um, you see all the police getting us and stuff like that. 
You see the all the COVID-19, what happened and stuff? Because we go against the right. And it's gonna keep happening, keep happening until we realize we gotta we gotta repent for our sin. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee it said all these curses gonna overcome us and overtake us they're one of the curses the COVID-19 is a curse for the Israelites the so-called blasphemous Spanish Native American remember Oh, when it first came out, it wasn't attacking us because they said melanin in our skin. But guess what? It got stronger. And now majority of our people are dying by the COVID-19. Right. And now they're trying to make vaccines, get us the vaccine they were doing, like they were shaking and stuff like that. Guess what? They trying to play us. They trying to do what? Because we broke out the family. Yeah. Leviticus 26 and 17. He said, you're going to send our enemy against us to kill us. To kill us. Let's get that. Leviticus chapter 26 verse 17 and I will set my face against you and ye shall be slain before your enemies and ye shall be slain before your enemies he said the Israelite the so-called blasting the Spanish Native American we're gonna be slain before our enemies now this is all because we did not keep the Most High God commandments we must keep the commandments that's why we got here. We fellowship every uh, Saturday at 2.30 2 um, at the school. Uh, 30, 30 South Monroe Street. 30, 30 South Monroe Street. Also, by doing that, Leviticus 26 and 17, let's read it again, then I'm gonna explain something to you, sis. So read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 26 and verse 17. Huh? And I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. Uh -huh. They that hate you, shall reign over you. It said, they that hate us, reigned over us now. Reigning over us now. So who? So who reigning over us now? What other folk? What their nationality is? The white folk. That's right. That's who reigning over us now. And we, and we, 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 we the most like God chosen people. And by, by, by knowing that, we must keep this commandment. If we don't, he said, well, so they're going to reign over us. Now, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Watch this. And then I'm going to get some commandments. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So we are chosen unto the Most High God. We are special unto the Most High God. It's just like if you have a kid and, he, and you told him to do A, B, and C and he don't do that, what you gonna do to the kid? You gonna whoop him. And that's what, this this thing right here, that's what we're doing, we get punished. We get punished before we can wake up and realize that we don't come back to the most I got commandment, we will be put to death. That's right. We will be put to death. That's what, that's what the Bible is all about. Keep my commandments and live. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So Christ said we above everybody. That's right. Everybody, the so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans, we above everybody that are upon the face of this earth. So we more special, we more special than what we think we are, sis. Right. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How you doing, sis? We, we going over that, the so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans, are the ears of lights. That's right. And that we must keep God's commandments. We must keep God's commandments to make it to the kingdom of heaven. That's right. And uh, I'm going over with the sisters. You see all the COVID-19, everything going on? How the um, majority of so-called Black Hispanics in Native America dying? That's because we broke his commandments. Right. That's that, that because of that. Because in Leviticus, we just went over Leviticus 26 and 17. They say the Lord gonna set his face against us and we're gonna be slain before our enemies. We're gonna be slain before our enemies. So we must keep the most high God commandments in order to live, in order to make it to the kingdom of heaven. Right. Uh, read Deuteronomy 76 again. Well, how special that the Israelites is. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Huh? For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. 
above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So you blacks and Hispanics, you're above everybody. Right. But we don't know that. We don't know that. Our Christ is a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. That's right. The same tribe. The same tribe that um she she said she from the tribe of Judah. Can you find your tribe on this side, sis? Y'all too? Tribe of Gad. Mighty tribe of Gad. Mighty tribe of Gad. So we all know that if you keep God's commandments, you make it to what? To the kingdom of heaven. And why, why? Do you say we all from the bottom or the top today? We're at the bottom now or at the top? In 2021. We're at the bottom. We're at the bottom. Here we are, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 16. Because we curse, we are cursed people. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 58, 28 and verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. So the Bible said, so called blessed man of America, we're going to be cursed in the city. We're going to be cursed in the field. Right. Just says the Lord, cause look, and you see this, check this sound out right here. You see this sound? We had Joseph iron upon our lips. This right. happened to the Israelites. We're not black, we're not African American. We've always been Israelites. Joseph iron upon our lips. We got sold in auction blocks. You can see the field, the cotton field, the sugar cane field. All the fields that we was in, we had what? The so-called white man over us. So we must come back to our true nationality that the Bible speaks of. Right. And that we are not black, we're not African American. We must keep God's commandments in order to live. Stop going to a nation that cannot save you. Give me the Lamentation 4 and 17. No. We gotta, we gotta stop going to them people. That's why we come together. See the men in purple and gold, we come together. Read. Lamentation, chapter 4, verse 17. As for us, our eyes have yet failed for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that cannot save us. So guess what? When we doing all that, uh, uh, what do you call it now, voting and stuff like that? We voting for the wrong people. Right. We voting for the wrong people. Our foundation is supposed to be all upon Christ. That's right. The black Messiah. That's our foundation, sis. And we must keep God's commandment as a what? As an Israelite. It's not, it's, it's not too late to repent. Right. Because God said laws and statutes and commandments for us to go by. And if we break those, he said he's going to send us on slave on slave ships. That we got to serve the white man, the Chinese man, the African man. You know we're not from Africa, right? We're not, we're not Africans. We're Israelite. God made a difference even at Leviticus 11 and 7. He made a difference from uh, Israel to uh, the Egyptians. So we're not no people African. They sold us <laughs> to the white man for guns. Right. That's it. They sold us. You do your history. Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 11 and verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast that ye may know how that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. God put a difference between us. We do not want to do their custom. Right. Deuteronomy 20, 25. Did you know God gave us a dress code? He gave us a dress code. Men and women. And we better go to that dress code to see what the dress code is for our white group is to repent. We can repent and change. That's all about uh, keeping God's commandment. We must change. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh -huh. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Uh -huh. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Now, the first one said a woman should not wear that which pertain to a man. So what do women wear these days that pertain to men? No sense? No sense? No, you like Pants. Pants. Women should not be wearing pants. And men should not be put on a woman going to put a dress and high heels. Now they got no men fashion of dresses. 
this is the this is our this is the um the um country of our enemies, the United States of America. This is a great melting pot. And we must come out of them. We must come out of this nation right here. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.